guys today's video is about selection sort i will use java to implement and then we will do the analysis and benchmarking of this sorting algorithm let's begin introduction selection sort is an in place comparison based sorting algorithm selection sort simple sorting algorithm one of the slowest algorithms and it is only good for smaller lists or arrays for the bigger it becomes very slow to achieve sorting order it iterates the array or list of items and maintains two sub arrays or sub lists one of them is sorted and the other is unsorted it in each pass it find the minimum element from the unsorted sub array and inserts it into the sorted sub array or swap time complexity it, it runs two loops so the runtime is o n square in the worst case worst case normally happens when the array is sorted in reverse order or descending order in case of descending order of the list it runs in o n square time and this is the worst case time complexity for selection sort in case of average runtime it runs at minimum n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by two comparisons and n swaps so uh, n swap so the com average complexity is also o n square in case of best case scenario this only happens when the array is already sorted in this case it also compares all the elements n multiply by n plus 1 divided by 2 and there is no swap so because of the comparisons its runtime is again o n square in all the three cases best worst and average the runtime of selection sort is o n square space and swaps in the worst case o n swaps in the average case o n swaps and in the best case o n swap this can vary because at minimum it must use o n by 2 swaps that accumulate to o n run time so the space complexity is o1 because there is only one variable we supposed to store during the sorting execution implementation and benchmarking i am going to implement this algorithm for and i will test it for three different cases worst case best case and average case and keep track of run time in milliseconds and display the number of comparisons and also number of swaps thank you guys and let's begin code hello guys i have created net means project for selection sort implementation and this is over test class with the main method to execute the function and this is fill array utility class i wrote for the array management in the array algorithms you can view the video related to fill array in the array algorithm playlist okay i have modified this function this function will help us create ascending and descending order array with the boolean flag in case of descending through it will create an array starter with n and goes up down to the one and in case of descending flag is false this will create an array starting from one to n okay let's begin we need to run selection sort for three times in three different cases selections uh, best case worst case and average case let's create an enum other java enum and let's add it and let's name it case okay we need worst case best case 
and average case. We will use these to indicate the certain case to run the selection sort. Now the selection sort class. Selection sort. Okay. In this class, we need these number one number of swaps private int num swaps and number of comparisons these are for the benchmarking num comparisons and time private long start time private long end time now array to hold data private int array and fill array object that will help us maintain the array private fill array fill array okay constructor public selection sort int min int max int size and we need a and n variable to indicate for which case we are running this selection sort. So, case, sorting case. Okay. Minimum value, maximum value, size of array, and best, worst, and average case okay first of we need allocation this dot array is equal to new int size okay now fill object this dot fill array is equal to new fill array okay now based on case we fill the array okay if sort case is equal to case dot best over array must be sorted 1 to n ok so this dot fill array dot fill array array and descending is equal to false this will create over array and this will fill over array in ascending order else if sort case is equal to case dot worst case worst case is array should be in descending order dot fill array and this is array and this is true and otherwise for average case randomly filled array this dot fill array dot fill array okay this will fill the array in the range of min and max values okay now we have this created and based on this value the array will be filled accordingly now the utility functions public void print array this dot fill array dot print these methods are already written in the fill array class print the array Okay, now public int get swaps. Return the number of swaps used in the sorting. Return this dot num swaps. Get the number of swaps. Okay, now comparisons. Public int get comparisons return this dot number of comparisons get the number of comparisons okay now time public long get time return end time minus start time this time will only be recorded for the larger list or arrays time 
taken in ms milliseconds time okay now over major function that is starting okay please concentrate on this function implementation this is important public void sort selection sort to sort the array okay we start with declaring minimum index int min index let's say is 0 okay so outer loop that must run n time int i 0 i is less than array dot length i plus plus okay now store min index this is assumption min index is equal to i now inner loop to find min item from unsorted array for int j is equal to i plus 1 and j is less than array dot length j plus plus okay now if out of order so compare record this dot num comparison plus plus if array j is less than over assumed minimum element array min index we record the index so min index will become j okay this will run n time okay now very important in almost most almost all the tutorial websites and books they used to swap it swap i and min index okay but this will run n time for each of case best worst and average by definition it should not run for best and some of the worst and average cases so we must put a condition to control the swapping if i is not equal to min index this will avoid unnecessary swaps okay this is i i learned this after a lot of practice okay now the swap function public void swap int x int y swap the elements and record number of swaps okay this dot num swaps plus plus and int temp is equal to array x array x is equal to array y and array y is equal to temp this implementation is complete now and we are done here so let's test this function <coughs> okay constants always good to use constants final int min let's say 1 final int max let's say 100 final int size let's say 10 initially and we will change it for the larger arrays okay now best case scenario okay selection sort object best new selection sort and we pass min max size and case dot best 
Okay. And what is wrong here? Okay. Now, output system dot out dot print ln best case scenario. Print the array. before sorting and best dot print array now copy this paste it here after after sorting okay now do the sorting here best dot sort okay now print Benchmarking stats system dot out dot printf number of comparisons percentage D percentage N and best dot get number of comparisons. Okay, system dot out dot printf number of swaps percentage D percentage N for new line best dot get swaps now time print f time taken percentage deep and milli second percentage n okay best dot get time okay this is good for over best case scenario let's run and test it Okay, see guys, in the best case, array should be sorted. So this is already sorted. And this is over result after the sorting. The number of comparison, n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2. And number of swaps, 0. And now understand this. If we remove this condition, let's see. The result will be, swaps will be n. n is 10. 10 is over size of array. So basically, if we do not put this condition here to control the swapping, the runtime of best, worst, and average case will be same. So we must control the swapping of elements in case of selection sort so that we can achieve best, worst, and average case. Now let's do the other cases so in the test class just copy everything okay now this is worst case change the variable name worst change the case dot worst case okay this is worst case scenario and copy this variable name and update this one this one and this one and all these okay over worst case scenario is ready this is how we reuse the code write a class as a blueprint make a good solution and use it as you like. So now this is our average case. One minute. Okay. This is after sorting was okay. Now copy all this for the average case. Okay, this is average case.
average and change the case this is dot average case okay this will fill the array according to average case randomly between this range okay and okay before sorting and we change the worst to average 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 and average okay let's run all these three test cases okay see guys this is our best case zero swaps number of comparisons same and this is worst case number of comparisons 45 and number of swaps 5 okay in case of average we have 8 swaps and 45 okay let's uh, time is zero because this is a very small list on faster computers it does not require much time so let's make it a bigger list let's say 1000 and let's say 5000 okay let's run it okay so ch changing constants give us a bigger list okay still zero and still zero let's make it a bigger list let's say 5000 okay now we should have some time okay we did not record the time okay one minute selection sort okay start time is equal to system dot current milis and end time start time and this is end time system dot current milis start time okay now we will have over time displayed run and now we have milliseconds displayed number of comparison and this is our sorted list 5000 is a pretty big number and this is how we implement selection sort and we test and benchmark three different cases average best case and worst case and this is how we control the swapping of unnecessary swaps and achieve the test cases thank you guys this is all for this tutorial i hope you have learned it and if you have any question please drop me message i will help and please subscribe to my channel and promote the content thank you guys